Hello, probably no one. No one, and welcome back to what I think. So, today I did something cool. I got my driver's permit. Uh, so, with getting a driver's permit, you know, a lot of responsibility is now putting, being put on my shoulders. Probably going to have to take my parents home some days, maybe drive my parents to a place. And uh, just be overall just more of a helpful person, I guess. But this is a video about my experiences at the DMV and how the first three times that I went sucked and the fourth time was awesome. So, starting off with the first time that we went there, uh, my ma took me and we were in the line for about three hours and then were turned away f like two people before we got in the door. And we were really mad. We were like, what the heck? Why can't you just take two people in or just one kid? You know, like, come on. But we moved on. So second day. Second day, again, three-hour wait. We got. I got in and failed. Got in, failed. I was like, oh, man. But I, I, like, beat myself up over it. I was getting really sad, so... And then I eventually was just like, it's okay, I'll go back in a week. Because with the way that Rona works, the one in Mississippi that I go to, uh, you have to be sorted by name. So it's like A through something, B through something, and then it's like, um, like whatever. It's, it's one letter through another letter, it's like four or five letters. And for some reason, the one that included my last name was the busiest day. The busiest day. And I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why because the day before, there's like no one in, in the line. And my grandpa was like, hey, I went by there yesterday and uh, there wasn't anybody in the line. So I was like, oh, yeah, they probably died down by now. So let's go. And, you know, it didn't work out. Well, it worked out, but it was it still took a while. But anyway, second time we were there, I went in, I failed, and then the third time, my grandma took me, and then I also failed. But, oh, real quick, for the second time that we went, the first time I got in the building, uh, so we were just standing there, you know, about five, six people from the door, I turned around to talk to my ma, and I see a lady that's a few spaces behind us collapse. Collapsed and hit her head really hard on the concrete. Like, we were a couple yards away from her, and I could still hear the <laughs> of her head hitting the concrete. And I was like, ooh, that was bad. And the reason that she passed out was heat stroke, because it was like 102 degrees outside. That's the southern heat for you. And... You know, we're everyone's just like, oh my gosh, is that lady okay? And then uh, they're, my mom is like uh, wanting to give her water, but someone already gave her water. And then uh, they had to delay it because the ambulance had to show up. Well, the fire truck showed up first, and then the ambulance, and then a cop car. Here's a picture of it. Yeah, it was crazy. And then we found out from by word of mouth that she was actually pregnant. Now... She wasn't so pregnant that it would have hurt the baby. It was, like, very early in the pregnancy, so it probably didn't even do anything. But they still had to take her to the hospital just in case. And I I don't know the full story, but I really hope she she's okay and her baby's okay, too. Now, on to the third time. Uh, nothing too eventful happened. My grandma took me, and I failed. Uh, once again, I was pretty sad. I got, I was like, uh, I keep failing, I failed again, and I'm gonna fail again and again and again. And I was just really beating myself up. And listen, if you fail your permit test even three times, don't, don't beat yourself up over it. It's okay. Just study and study and study. Don't get on your games all night long and just procrastinate like I did for the first two times that I got in the building. You gotta study, study, study. And then study some more. Because it's gonna be hard. And uh, eventually you'll do it. 
you'll you'll win like I did. So if you if you failed yours and you're listening to this, don't beat yourself up over it. Just practice, practice, and then try again. Okay, okay, we got it now. So third time, I get in the building. The third time I get in the building. So uh, this one includes an interesting character that will come in the story later. So I get, I asked this guy, hey, sir, are you in the line? Because he was kind of standing a little bit further behind. And he said, yeah, I'm in line. So he scooted up a little bit, and I got in line. So I didn't really think much of it. And, uh, you know, I'm standing in line. Me and my other grandma were uh, ch- switching spots because it's also really hot, and she wanted to keep me cool and, and uh, hydrated so then I can be ready for this test. And we were changing spots. We changed spots like twice. And then she went to go get me Dairy Queen. Because she's awesome. And then, you know. And and then I get in the building. I'm almost, I'm almost in the building. And I was like, oh no, I don't have my paperwork because I left it in the car. So, because, you know, I didn't need it at that point. And uh, I went and knocked on the window and she was like, here, 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 take it, take it. And then I got in, and I took the test, and I passed. Passed. I was so happy. But before I passed, before I even took the test, uh, the guy that was in front of me, uh, he he was there, too. He was standing there. He was getting his stuff done, and uh, he walks out. And then I look down, and and I see his face on a license. I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute. And then I see in big, bold letters at the top of his license, Shrek's Offender. I can't say the real word because YouTube will hit me in the face multiple times. But I see Shrek's Offender on it. And I was like, hmm. I stood behind him for like four hours. No, this time one four hours. It was like two, two and a half. But still, it it was a little, little surprising to me because he seemed like just such a chill dude that you'd find at Kmart and you'd be like, oh, he likes cheese. He likes to go to Wendy's and get his grandkids cheeseburgers. But no, he's a Shrek offender. But then again. It may have been some false accusation from like 10, 15 years ago that uh, he has to live with for the rest of his life. So I'm not going full Judge Judy on him, but just saying that was a little surprising. But I passed and I was so happy and and the only thing that was in my head was this clip right here. You did it, sir. I did it? He did it. I did it? He did it. You did it, sir. I did it. He did it. I did it. Because indeed, I did do it. I did do it. I did it. Dewey done did it. If you're thinking about doing it, I already done did it. So, that's that's the story of my DMV trips. I mean... Your trips might be different. You might have uh, live in a different state and have a different whole different test to take. But you can never predict it. So, anyway, that's what I think. 